another video. Today, guys, I'm going to be reviewing the Play School Heroes. Well, I'll just show you. The Play School Heroes Helicarrier. Four in one. And here is what it looks like. Here's what the box looks like. Shows different languages. Age, um, three to seven. Who cares? And here you can also see uh, you have War Machine on the front here. And uh, so let's take a look at the back of the box. On the back of the box, it shows you some of the cool features you can do with this set, as well as some other cool characters that you can collect to go with this helicarrier. And it also shows some other available sets to buy. And uh, yeah, let's just unbox um, this boy. The power of magical scissors. What? Okay. And here we go. We now have all everything out of the box. Let me take a look at the characters. So starting off, we got I'd say the main character in the set. And it's War Machine. I think War Machine's kind of cool. Mainly because of these cool backhands that he has, which actually you can move forward so that you can know you go shooting things. <laughs> yeah. And of course he's got his head turned so he can move his uh, hands and stuff, his arms, his feet and stuff. You gotta make some cool poses, you know? And now let's check out the second minifigure. This is Hulk, um, to be honest. I don't know. He's alright, but whenever I imagine Hulk, I imagine him like really big and, and buff and stuff. And really compared to him, he's like, hold on, like an inch taller. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's not too, not very cool. Uh, he does look a little bit cool though. He's got some extra big feet, some uh, big old muscles there. Um, it's not the same articulation, you know? His arms move, his legs move, so he uses his head and fists. It can kind of go like a Hulk smash on this guy. But I wonder which one, which one of these poses do you think is the coolest? And which one do you think would win the battle? Let's see. Yeah, I think Hulk would probably win. Anyways, let's take a look at the helicarrier. This thing is awesome. Now, it does require a little bit of assembly, like uh, attaching one of the wings or the hella things. And also, the handlebar, which I'll show in just a minute. Also, it comes with stickers, which if you open this up, there's all these. Uh, it's actually, I might as well show you right now. So, as you see, this is kind of a headquarters here. You can kind of show where all the stuff is. And here you can put some of the cool uh, characters here. And there's actually these, these little these little, uh, these little pegs here. And you can place your characters on. Just give me a minute. There we go. And you can kind of go, uh, kind of go on this thing and uh, kind of click on it. There's also some extra space to put some other characters. Like, you know, the Hulk. But of course, one of the cool things is that this is the Avengers headquarters, so you can put in all the Avengers. All right, and here we have some extra Avengers. I actually didn't have enough room to fit all of them, but we got some extra ones. Like, we got Ant-Man and Captain America with his big old guns. Oh, jeez, why are you pointing your guns, Captain America? Sorry, ever since I lost my shield, I was gonna use these. Hey, War Machine, what do you think about them? Oh. Um, oops. By the way, if you're wondering, um, these characters do not come with the set. They come with other sets. These are the only two figures that come with it. Still really cool figures. Now, uh, let's also take a look at another cool feature. And it is this cool pod here. I like to call it the Quinjet because uh, I think one of the Avengers vehicles is called the Quinjet. Anyways, it's all red. It's got the the shield sign on it, and it looks really cool. I like it. And then you can kind of open it up, and you can fit a 
character in there. Hmm. You know what? Let's put in Hulk or Jelly Green Giant. There we go. And what's cool is that you actually kind of, kind of load up like a gun. So what you see is that there's these wheels here, and there's also these uh, lines here. So you kind of have to line it up. It's kind of hard to show you, but you, know, you push it back, and then it'll click like that. And if you can see here at the end, there's a tiny little uh, tab that if you press it, it launches the Quinjet. Um, such a volume pressure. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, then you can uh, send out the coin jet to all sorts of cool missions. <clears throat> like, say, for example, you know, they're flying the sky, and all of a sudden, hey, ho, I need you come down at the city Quanto. There's a giant crocodile invading the streets. Guard it. And then, boom, they would launch him, and he's uh, out. Stop the giant mutant crocodile. Hold it right there. Oh, uh oh. Hawks angry. Hawks smash. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering, uh, you have. You can also store in characters in here, and you can be inside of the jet. And now let's get back to the handlebar. You got this. See, you see here, you got this handlebar, and you can hold it so that you can fly around the helicarrier to wherever it needs to go. Speaking of that, I don't think Holt's gonna be able to take on this giant crocodile. We need the helicarrier to take on this guy. However, though, I don't think the helicarrier will do much use in the sky. So what if? It could go on land. Well, guess what? You can do that because guess what? This cool hovercraft can also transform into a vehicle. So if you take the wings and push them down, <clears throat> the hover blades become wheels, and then boom! It looks like a tub on wheels. <laughs> so I imagine it's now. Let's go stop the crocodile. <laughs> You can stop me! I am invincible! Oh yeah? What well, about this? Oh! Okay, 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 surrender. Good job, War Machine. How oh, wouldn't be for this sick helicarrier? Well, I think it's time to go. Thanks so much guys for watching this video, take care, and peace out.